what's going on my people welcome back to the lift capital youtube channel where life is for the taking it is the host himself ted talk money today we're going to be covering a certain project that's going to be linked with the digitization of world trade that's xdc i really hope you guys have been enjoying the past 24 hours because you know what you truly do get over here another 24 hours of blessings today my people i want to discuss with you guys the latest and greatest that's really happening with the xdc network right now at the time of this recording each xdc coin the underlying commodity of this network is going for about four cents about four seven now i'm going to be covering with you guys certain projects that are built on the xdc network plus also passive income opportunities that have really been presenting themselves so if you're new to our channel be sure that you hit the like button subscribe subscribe and as well make sure that you let us know in the comments how you feel about the xdc network now like i said to you all this is a actual network that's going to be facilitating global trade if you're not familiar with how global trade works now it's the backbone of every single economy however you're listening to me right now global trade has something to do with it if you're looking out of a screen if you're looking out of a window even if you're in the car right now each and every one of those parts that's moving world trade had something to do with it so right now in the middle of this industrial revolution what our community likes to call it there's a certain piece of technology in the crypto world that's going to be facilitating for streamlining those transactions and helping for global trade to move forward one of the projects that's actually built on this network is called globiance they actually have a burninator monday they kind of burn a big portion of the supply of the actual token you can see here burninator monday week 50 they recently burned about 492 million dollars worth of the supply of this globiance token with about 523 billion gbex that have been destroyed now, I need you to understand if you're new to this channel, Globiance or GBEX is another asset that's going to be for the long term. This is the utility token of the Globiance exchange platform that is, again, built on the XDC network. We've been sharing a lot about Globiance, but not enough about Globiance Pay. Globiance Pay is another um, like a part of the banking trifecta that is built on the Globiance platform, Globiance Pay. You have also the Globiance Exchange here. So I just want to put it out there for you. There's an exchange, also staking, and as well launch pads that are associated with this network. Now, if you're new to our channel, we always want to present in this crypto world more and more ways that there is for DeFi. DeFi continues to grow more and more in the crypto market, and it makes more sense for you to be a part of the new growing Web3 infrastructure that's continuing to grow. I want to present for you guys a platform called Cryptonomy. As you guys can see, they back early stage crypto projects that are building Web3 infrastructures. You can see the Trustpilot actually rated it as excellent. It would actually started um it started its launch back in 2019. They say here discover why hundreds of thousands have chosen Krypton cryptonomy to grow their investment portfolio from the initial crypto purchases to participating venture activities now what i'm going to be showing you all is the platform how it works and of course a little bit of what i've thrown in you guys can see a little bit of my account now you can see here the vision of what it's all about they're going to be about supporting forward-thinking entrepreneurs basically making sure that the crypto and web3 ecosystem moves forward the portfolios span and these all of these ventures expand from layer one protocol web3 infrastructures on ramps nfts developer tools all around the pretty much the whole crypto world or crypto verse uh, in a sense you're going to be able to make investments within it so of course if you're new to you know the crypto world web3 is a big part of this new innovation that we find ourselves in you have the metaverse sector the game fi the virtual worlds play to earn games DeFi, of course with p2p platforms dexes all of those advanced solutions for greater financial autonomy there's also nft uh, investing that you will get into of course providing liquidity all across the way for nfts payments trading and of course compliance so solutions making sure that all of these projects are actually within compliance your investments your your investments, your freedom. Very good, guys. So, of course, we're going to be talking about the staking so you all can be receiving. Oh, you see it here, 180% APY on your assets. Of course, they have a breakdown here to really show you all how the liquid, the launch pad would work and as well for the staking terms. I'll be showing you all those. 
Be sure that you follow them over on Twitter. They're always putting out these market snapshots, letting everybody know how they are operating over on Twitter. You could see it right here. Market snapshot was taken on Friday, and I'm sure they're going to continue to keep this updated. They really do seem to be growing, as you all can see, just continuing to let everyone know about how to diversify their portfolio into the future. So I want to, of course, just again, show you all a little bit of my my account here and my the interest account that I have here. So once you guys use a link in our description, you can head on over and you can see that there's a few different ways you all can really make interest and really make some passive income. You see that there's a flexible pool here for staking and as well for interest. And as well, you have a fixed pool here, of course, for uh, staking as well. I want you all to see here that you have um, up to 153% APY for Bitcoin, for example, for Ethereum, Ethereum Classic. Long story short, how you're really able to get into these fixed, um, these fixed, uh, pools here is of course you're going to have to deposit. I really want to show you all the flexible side here. Of course, you all can see that again. What I would what I would really do is again um, just add or deposit some Bitcoin into again uh, these these flexible interest accounts. Really, just letting you know there's a lot of interest that can be made on each one of these. The one that I'm really excited about, of course, is this launch pool. The launch pool is really going to allow you to see again some of the ROI that's really out there, and of course how they're allowing uh, people to really to uh, get returns on some of these new assets. You guys can see the average ROI is about 17.71x, about 1700 per. You can see they've had about 150, 146 events so far, and they've raised about 59% with about 68% of those categories being from GameFi. So very fascinating, guys. Just want to let you guys know that there's a few different opportunities out there that you guys can really get involved in just early term IDOs, IPOs, and really just get some of this passive income that they are offering for you all. Of course, uh, once you really want to get in tune, you would head over to the wallet as you all can see here and then for example if you just want to get started with bitcoin you would just hit the deposit and it's just just as a normal exchange you'd hit the deposit here's the note you'd scan your qr code and then of course send your btc over to that way um, also again guys you have a few different coins here that it's really allowing for you to do all of these deposits on uh, pepe erc20 tokens you have even xdc xdc can also be operated with here xlm xdc agix constellation dag you could deposit constellation dag into this as well and be receiving interest on each and every one of those so guys of course use the link in our description just really get in tune again you guys can be receiving passive income in a real way now moving forward right here for the xdc holder you really have to understand how trade finex is going to be serving in the future this is going to be the main platform that's going to be used by a lot of these trade finance users if you're not familiar with how trade finance works you have small and medium enterprises businesses that need to facilitate funding all across the world so when you're moving for example um you know you might be exporting metals or commodities whatever it might be to make sure that those banks have funding there's right now it's very unorganized so trade finex is powered here on xdc and they already have companies that are being registered already within it i want to show you all here trade finex open trade fi protocol and marketplace for real world asset pools right now they already have about 36 0.3 million XDC that are already locked within this pool with about 610,000 of those FXD, which are their stable coins. You can see the trade finex pool H and H international fully subscribed there. Also, some other pools that are going to be coming. So these are fully subscribed and working well. Make sure that you understand that this platform is already being used by Japanese banking giant SBI. They're already working with Trade Finex to set up a crypto venture already that's going to be operating in Japan. Again, so you can have a look to understand how this platform is going to work. Originators here with these banks are going to be in contact to make SPVs. Those are going to be special purpose vehicles. Those vehicles are then going to be tokenized as what these fintech uh, fintechs and banks and whatnot these originators for these 
for these loans and whatnot, they will be in contact to make SPVs with underwriters and insurance and whatnot who are going to be in contact with these regulated digital custodians. Once those custodians then take those SPVs, they tokenize them. They use that on the Trade Finex platform. So once then, the Trade Finex platform is going to be in contact with other banks or other credit insurers. Those are going to be funders. They are also in contact with the custodian. And then in there, they're going to be operating together on the Trade Finex platform. So keep that in mind, guys. The XDC that you do buy every time that you are purchasing and stacking and accumulating more of your XDC, you're really going to be helping facilitate facilitate the future of each and every one of these transactions and again the demand is going to be going up for such a supply such as this an announcement was shared outlining the goals of this joint venture to localize the xdc network information and documentation in japan the xdc network continuing to flow and expand itself into the xdc network to deploy trade finance solutions across the apac region it's really important that you guys take the security of your crypto seriously get your crypto off of the exchanges get your crypto off of your phone and be sure that you use the link in the description to save yourself some money and grab yourself what's called a decent wallet this biometric security cold storage wallet allows you to keep all of your crypto off of your all of your keys offline basically allowing you again to keep it out of the hands of hackers use a link in our description save yourself some money this is the best price that we've seen this season all year guys and again it's really important that you keep xdc self custody all right you guys might have heard about xdc being stored on ledger and all that other stuff xdc self custody actually over here all right also free shipping for all us uk eu and japanese listeners guys be sure that you use the link in the description and save yourself some money now moving forward right here i actually have something i want you to listen to this is the tfd initiative this initiative i'm going to be sharing with you is one of the most important combinations one of the most important partnerships that the xdc network has witnessed to date the tfd initiative is working to define new technology market practices and and data specifications. Why this is so important is because all of the initiatives, all of the moves, all the efforts and energy that the TFD initiative is putting into is helping to facilitate the XDC network to move forward. This TFD initiative is partnered with AS, with Santander, ING, the Bank of Australia, just to name a few. So I want you to see here and listen to this, that they're already preparing for their next conference, the Trade Finance Investment day listen to this it was nice to make some new friends this is I think a right science event you know 100 150 people is just nice you can actually focus and talk to the right people and have a engaging discussion uh, where compared to events which has thousands of people is very difficult to even focus so I think the size wise this was nice the venue is amazing and and uh, I think the right kind of people came in here today so I think overall I would give 10 out of 10 very good. So he was what he was describing basically was the 2023 event that they had for the Trade Finance Investor Day. Now to connect the dots here for you, notice you have ING, Santander, Commonwealth Bank of Australia, ANZ, SMBC, all of these central banks and policymakers coming together to again focus and discuss and have engaging discussions is a beautiful thing. So listen right here also, so, so to actually to piggyback onto that. So they're preparing already for the Trade Finance Investor Day in 2024. So this is really good. Obviously, you guys, Andre Kasterman is a huge integral part to the XDC network. You can see him right here, CEO of the TFD initiative. That's a Trade Finance Distribution Initiative. Guys, be sure that you check out our interview that we did have with Andre Casterman last time we were able to get in contact with him at the XTC conference back in Texas. Uh, la uh, this year, actually. So it's we're looking forward to everything that's really happening on the XDC network. So listen to this, guys. You really want to pay attention and find out why trade finance is so important for the future and why actually holding these XDC is really a good idea. Listen to this. My name is Jason Barris. Uh, I work for ARC Ratings. 
which is a credit rating agency. Uh, we're based in the UK, in Canary Wharf, uh, but we also have a European business post-Brexit, uh, which is headquartered uh, down in Lisbon. I expect to see uh, more um, funds coming through, new clients setting up. Um, I expect to see, hopefully, um, the trade finance industry starting to embrace securitization. You know, the trade finance community at the moment likes to stay in its trade finance community. But if we can start to move out and um, utilize the other products in the structured finance market, okay, then that opens up a whole new world to this trade finance community. So I think, you know, we have to pivot slightly as an industry. And if we can get rid of the paper, Okay, if we can digitize the process, if we can start to use the broader banking products, then this industry potentially okay, can open itself up to a whole new world of investors, which basically means that they can spin money quicker, they can get the second loan back to the buyer or the seller, who can then buy their goods, so they'll be creating more wealth, because it's the aid old, the quicker money moves, the more wealth you create. And that comes down to distribution. So if we've got distribution, people who understand the product, triple B, okay. If we've got digitization, then you can get the deal flow going through much quicker, create wealth, and with that, our market then turns into what I would call a really interesting product. Boom, boom. You should be very bullish <clears throat> hearing that. You should be so very bullish hearing that. So what, what I, the takeaway that I really got from that is that what we're really on is that the precipice of so much change that right now, again, I've, I've done this research into this trade finance thing, folks. This thing goes back all the way to the 16th century. And what he already said is that all the people that are involved, they don't want to they don't want to move, you know, all of this innovation. They don't really want to move. So long story short, we're already investing into the future. That's my point. We're already investing to the future. And one point that he really did say is that the quicker that money moves, the faster the faster people can create wealth. This is exactly what this trade for next platform is going to be used for facilitating and streamlining all of those funds so that they can be received much faster. OK, so again, I want to connect this for you again. That was a TFD initiative, XDC, the first blockchain company to join this initiative. You can see here Santander is a part, a leading service provider. Let's actually look at Santander and their and their their publication here that they put this out. I want to really look into it for ourselves. Santander is one of the country's largest retail and commercial banks with $89.5 billion in asset management. That was back in 2020, y'all. You know, they've grown more than 575 branches, over 9,000 employees, more than 2,000 ATMs, more than 2.1 million customers. And they're standing side in side, hand in hand for this, for this global initiative to change trade finance and to make it completely digital. And that's exactly what the XDC network does. It streamlines, it flows that digitization. And again, my point, people, is that the demand is going to continue to rise for something like this. But we need to see an, an increase of this used eternally, you know. So I want, last but not least, I want to share with you guys a little bit more of the sustainability of all of this. If we're going to be talking about a network that's going to be sustainable, that's actually going to be uh, handling global trade, then there must be sustainability. The first thing companies can do is really understand what sustainability means, what the impacts are, and actually takes the steps to address them. OK, I'm showing you all the ICC UK, a little bit of media here because the ICC UK is working hand in hand with the TFD initiative, hand in hand, working with XDC. Look at this. ICC UK, an observer of the TFD initiative. Listen up. So our focus is uh, not exactly on reporting as a starting point. What we're doing is the doing of the sustainability. We help them understand where the impacts of sustainability in the business are. We do the materiality assessments and then build a strategy around this uh, through our technology. And the output of our work effectively uh, provides an avenue for reporting. So they can report to any frameworks out there as long as they have implemented the key steps and engagement and governance through, throughout the business. But what I can say is there are some very interesting developments happening in this arena. So one of them is the ISSB, the International Sustainability Standard Board, which is part of the IFR 
IFRS Foundation, and they have now created the first ever global ESG standard, part of the kind of financial accounting uh, methodologies. So this will be a great step. It will take two to three years to embed globally, and I think business should be very happy with that step going forward because this is exactly what you're saying. You know, there are so many frameworks. This brings them under one banner, and at the same time, you have the European CSRD, Corporate Sustainability Reporting Directive, that goes a bit further than the ISSB. But again, it's, it's amalgamation of these larger frameworks, uh, bringing them together and providing a unified approach globally. I think the, one of the key challenges is uh, the data collection. I think this is what we hear, but actually it's more about engagement. Uh, so we provide technology for, for larger companies to go and connect with their value chain and connect all the, all the way down to the value chain, tier one, tier two, tier three, uh, upstream and downstream to actually engage them and then collect the real data. And it's not just about actually emissions. The other ESG issues such as deforestation, water, human rights in supply chain, they are all connected and, and they are all sitting in the value chain itself. So I think the engagement is the first step which we can provide to technology, but also we do the interpretation of the data. We, we create a, a clear view of where those impacts and the risks and opportunities are. The first, first step I think the companies can take is to really understand what sustainability means for their business. So we've relied on certain business models which have used certain amount of resources uh, and it's not going to be exactly the same in the next sort of few years, short, medium, long term. So first thing they can do is really understand what sustainability means, the impacts are, and then actually take steps to address them and see what they can do to these major trends around climate change, biodiversity, water, other, other issues which all the stakeholders are concerned about and start addressing them. Beautiful. So guys, at, as a conclusion <clears throat> to everything that we've really gone over today, I am still bullish for the XDC network. All right, still bullish for the XDC network. Be sure that you use a link in our description. Be sure that you check out Cryptonomy. You guys can be receiving passive income on multiple coins and as well tokens. Be sure that you use a link in our description and save yourself some money. Put all of your crypto off of the exchanges and literally off of your phone. And do not forget that the TFD initiative is the most important partnership that the XDC network does have to establish trade finance as an investable class. I appreciate you making it to this part of the video. Be sure that you hit the like button, share this thing out as well. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more of our updates. But with that being said, I'll holler at you later. Thanks for watching. Peace.